Tonight we start with the latest on Hurricane Barrel as it marks the first form hurricane this season in the Atlantic Basin. Thanks for joining us for 10 Tampa Bay this weekend. I'm Miranda Parnell. Now 10 Tampa Bay is your hurricane headquarters, so let's get right over to meteorologist Colleen Campbell, who just minutes ago got the latest information on Hurricane Barrel. Colleen. That's right, Miranda. Yeah, so this storm is continuing to get stronger and intensify. That's not something that we want to see. So here's Barrel. It is still at a Category 1 status, but we're going to get some stats on here. The latest, the winds, 85 miles per hour. Here's the thing. Once the winds become at 96 miles per hour sustained, it will be a Cat 2. And we are expecting this to continue growing into a major hurricane. That would be a Category 3 by the time it approaches the Windward Islands. The pressure has dropped slightly, which means that it is getting stronger. The storm, it's moving westward at 20 miles per hour right now. So here's the latest track. I'm going to step on the other side here. You can see that it will approach the Windward Islands as a Category 3 major hurricane, and it's going to con continue that trek uh, out to the west here, moving south of the Dominican Republic, eventually moving through the Caribbean, south of Cuba, still holding its status as a category two on the latest forecast track and then eventually it will move towards the Gulf of Mexico and the Yucatan Peninsula. Now be aware that when we get later out in the forecast cone trends can change. A couple of facts here if barrel does become uh, stay on forecast and becomes a major hurricane category three before July 1st it will be the third earliest major hurricane for the Atlantic Basin and it could be one of the earliest major hurricanes in the Caribbean.